Hello and welcome to the Logical video tutorial series. In this tutorial we'll show you two things. We're going to show you how to create a new supplier within the system and add parts and we'll also show you how to create hardware package macros. The purpose of creating hardware package macros in Logical is to allow the user to apply specific hardware requirements to a door or doors within a project. These macros are applied in the hardware area of the elevation. With the use of hardware package macros, the user has the ability to create an unlimited number of hardware packages with those hardware items that may, they may wish to apply to a door or doors within a project. The hardware can span different manufacturers as long as the desired manufacturer's catalog is available within Logical. The user also has the ability to create their own specific hardware items within the database that may not be available from preloaded manufacturers catalogs. For example, a hardware bought out from a local supplier or products like National Guard thresholds, PEMCO weathering, etc. It's the responsibility of the user to maintain the prices and data for those items that they add. Subscribed manufacturers catalogs data for example, FCO Conair Old Castle that we provide is automatically updated with your subscription. The first thing you must do, uh, or the first thing we'll go ahead and do, is we'll go ahead and create a supplier. At the very top, you want to choose User Database and Supplier. As you can see, it'll bring up the Supplier dialog screen. We can just simply choose New. The system will prompt us for a supplier code. This is a three uh, alphanumeric code. I'm going to put in NGP for National Guard Products. We can put in the description. I'll put in National. National Guard Products. You can give it a short name if you'd like. It'll show up on uh, wherever a short name is needed in reports. You can apply a CAD directory or de uh, designate a CAD directory where the images for each part can be stored we'll go with US dollars and undefined language. It will work with all languages and we want to make sure that you check is hardware supplier. We don't need to worry about any of the other areas here. You can always look and investigate that and uh, typically for what we're doing is hardware supplier is the only other thing that we need to do. Choose OK and the system will take us back to the list of suppliers with our new one there and then we can just simply choose close. Now that we have our hardware supplier in the system, the next thing we want to do is go ahead and create a new part within that new supplier. So we want to again go to user database and now we want to go to item data. The system will pull up all the suppliers in your system depending on your configuration and we want to go to the last one that we created which was NGP or National Guard products. You can either double click or choose OK to select it and the system will then take us into the database for our newly created supplier. As you can see, we currently have nothing in with this supplier. So to add a new part, we can either choose Add at the lower left, or we can choose right click New, and the system will take us down into the number area. We want to go ahead and put in our part number in this case. We're going to go ahead and add a National Guard threshold, so the part number is 803N N. here next thing we want to do is we'll go ahead and put in our description and the description for that particular part number is a panic threshold neoprene and it is in mill finish we want to I, Identify it as an item type under hardware. In this case, store hardware. Double click on it. If you'd like, you can put in the pounds per pieces. This is actually 2.2 pounds for that length. This is a uh, 36 inch. And we want to put in the package size. There's only one per package. If it were a set of screws, it could be 100. The next thing we want to do is go ahead and put in our price. So we'll choose pricing. Now we want to right click here in the white area. Choose new. We'll go ahead and give it a finish. I don't see mill there. Yeah, I do. Mill finish. We can apply it as mill finish anodized. 
or just mill finish. I shouldn't have been anodized on there. Um, we'll go ahead and designate it as a 803 and again. Now if you want you can put in mill, tight mill, or space mill or whatever. From quantity zero, discount group without. Price will be $40 and it's one unit per package. You can hit the enter key, stock item, enter, and our item is done. So now that we have that in, we want to go ahead and add the look at the additional data. You want to go ahead under standard, under printout, you want to choose hardware. And if you'd like, under material, you can put aluminum. That's all we need to put there. And we can choose save. And our part is now in the database. So if you have additional parts for the National Guard products, you can keep adding them. So now that we've got that part in there, we can go back to Project Center. And now we want to go ahead and create our hardware macros. So we've created a supplier. We added parts for that supplier. Now we'll create macros or a particular macro and apply it to a door and test it. So now we'll go back to user database and now we want to go to hardware. The system will bring up a list of all hardware macros. We just simply choose add to create a new one. The system will prompt us for the name of this macro. We'll call it AutoZone Store 100 and Pair. We can designate a supplier if we'd like. Um, there's a independent data there. We can put it under any of the uh, products or uh, suppliers that we created, uh, or you can leave it blank. I'll just go ahead and designate mine under hardware by others that I had created. She's okay. And then we can just double click on that to edit. The first thing you want to do is look at the info. We don't need to put anything here or here, but under display at, this is display at, this is for a pair door, so we want to choose single acting pair swing in, single acting pair swing out. This allows it to filter when we're in the hardware section within the elevation. A prerequisite for creating a file or a macro is you have to identify what possible systems the macro can be associated with. So under possible systems, right click, choose new, and the system will bring up all the systems in the database. Scroll down, we'll associate this with the Conair TriFab 450. You'll notice that there's subsystems. You can drop down and apply it to a particular subsystem or all of them. I'll choose OK. Right click, new. I'll apply it also to the 1600 wall. So I'll choose 1600 system, double click, all and OK. So now that I've associated that, I've told it where to display it at, I've got it set up as standard hardware, we can start adding parts and pieces. So we choose Add, and the system will bring up a dialog box and allow us to put in a part number. Right now it's defaulting to number without. We've got to wait for it to index, and then you can start putting in parts and pieces. One thing you need to make sure that you do is you need to display all hardware. You need to check these boxes. So click them. And when you click them, it's going to re-index everything for you. And we can start entering the part numbers. So first of all, let's go ahead and enter that National Guard product, that threshold, the 803N. When entering part numbers, you have to start or preface the part number with the supplier code and a space. So I'm going to strike N for NGP. It's on, only entry we have under Ns. So I can go ahead and choose that. I want to add one piece. Enter, enter, and enter. And then it's going to prompt us for another part number. Now let's go ahead and add a few parts out of the price catalog from Conair. So the first part we'll go ahead and add is our closers. Go ahead and put in a KNR, type in KNR, space, 137820. There's our uh, surface uh, closures. Enter, enter, enter. We have two. And it will enter until it prompts us for the next part number. Then we'll put in our top bottom pivots. 
uh, and prep K and R one three eight four ten and we can enter those two and then the K and R one three eight four eleven and we have two of those then we'll put in the bottom pivots K and R one three eight four twelve two of those K and R one three eight four one three two of those and we'll put in a Adams right lock a K and R one three eight one oh three we want one of those and we'll put in a cylinder a K and R one three eight six seventy we want one of those and last but not least our push pulls K and R one three seven 700 P left right yes always always we want two of those and at that point that's all we want so if you hit enter too many times it's gonna try and select something there's trying to select the setting block I don't want that so I can cancel out of that we have our hardware list here so this is everything for the hardware macro HBO AutoZone store 100 pair Hardware by others, AutoZone Store 100 pairs, the macro name. We've got a National Guard product here at the uh, threshold, all these parts and pieces. Once you, and we've associated it with these systems. Now that we've got that complete, we can just simply choose Save. The system will save that. We can then go back to the Project Center by choosing the Project Center button, and we can test this macro. We'll go ahead and open a project. We'll test or choose the test hardware macro 2. We'll then go into the elevation. And under hardware is, we, is where we apply these macros. Under additional hardware, choose add. The system will display our macros. Here's our AutoZone Store 100 pair. When we select it, it's going to show us what's in that macro. These are all the parts and pieces. And we can apply that. We'll go without a finish. That's fine. And we want one macro or one piece. And then at that point, we can assign it as hardware. And choose OK. And then it'll break all those down into individual items. You can edit them as you see fit. And that concludes this tutorial. So now you know how to make hardware macros. You can create as many as you like and apply them to specific doors. We greatly appreciate your time in viewing this tutorial and look forward to working with you with the Logic Hill software.